right, this is your Columbia 1314 Universal Curette. It's universal, meaning you can use it both posterior and anterior on all surfaces. I'm gonna show you on the upper left buckle. First, what you need to do, you've got your patient in what I have maxillary positioning. I'm gonna be sitting at 10 to 11 o'clock for right-handed clinician for surface away from me. And then I'm gonna establish the correct working end. So what I'm looking for is that when I establish my fulcrum, which end is going to be parallel. So I can tell that this end is not gonna be parallel because the terminal shank is laying across the tooth. When I flip ends and I establish the fulcrum I wanna use, I can see that the terminal shank is now parallel. So I would be retracting with my mirror so I can see the distal of the most posterior erupted tooth. Again, patient is turned towards me. I prefer an extra oral chin cut fulcrum for this quadrant, or you can also fulcrum internally or intraorally on the mandibular teeth. Slide your hand back onto the handle in order to get enough reach um, to reach the distal part of the most erupted tooth. So you're going to start distal line angle. Establish a 70 degree angulation by roll, leaning the instrument to the tooth. Your distal line angle, rolling the toe around. You're going to roll the instrument leading with your toe. Start again distal line angle and do oblique strokes across the buckle, rolling into the mesial. If you do have to slide the curette down into a deep pocket, in order to get all the way to the junctional epithelium, you're going to need to close the blade, insert, and then establish your fulcrum coming back up to establish a 70 degree angulation. So upon insertion, you're at zero degrees. Face is flat against the tooth and you slide in and then stand up. So distal line angle in around. Now on your top of you're gonna catch. This is easier on a real person. Roll mes uh, distal line angle across the buckle. Roll around the mesial line angle. Again, distal line angle in around, roll, mesial line angle, removing deposits, making sure you're getting apical to the deposit, meaning underneath. Then you would apply your lateral pressure and remove the deposit. So buckle, going oblique around the mesial line angle. Same thing on your premolars, distal line angle, roll, begin distal line angle, in around. Distal line angle. Notice now I've changed my fulcrum to the same arch and I'm fulcruming on the anterior teeth. With this 1314, you can also use it on the anterior. So I would have my patient turn more central. I would slide around to 12 o'clock. And then the end that worked on my upper left, I know now is going to work surfaces towards me. So I'm around to 12. I'm going to start midline of the canine, do surfaces towards me. Keeping my terminal shank very parallel to the tooth, I'm in a palm up hand position, making sure I'm leaving space between my thumb and finger to roll my instrument. I can do this canine to canine. Now I flip my instrument and now I can do my surfaces away from me. So I'm starting midline. and surfaces away. That is your Columbia 1314 Universal Curette.